Optical time-of-flight sensors, which measure the scene transient, have recently become widely available. These sensors operate by illuminating the scene with a pulse of light and measuring the shape of that pulse over time as it returns back from the scene in a transient histogram. Typically, these sensors use a proprietary algorithm to extract a single proximity estimate from the transient histogram. Such sensors, which we refer to as transient sensors, have seen use in robotics for their ability to reliably report a proximity estimate over a wide range while being small, lightweight, and low power. Due to their form factor, the sensors are able to be placed where high-resolution 3D sensors cannot, such as on the gripper or links of a robot manipulator, or on very small robots. Because present robotics applications only utilize the proprietary distance estimates reported by these sensors, the sensors are only used to perform coarse sensing, for example, detecting the presence of obstacles or distance to a target. In this work, we show that it is possible to recover more than coarse depth estimates from the measurements of transient sensors. We directly utilize the transient histograms captured by these sensors to recover accurate planar geometry and consistent planar albedo from a single transient sensor measurement. We evaluate our method using the TMF8820 sensor from AMS. The sensor reports a 3x3 grid of transient histograms, each of which images a different field of view. We configure the sensor to report a transient histogram and proprietary distance estimate for each region to enable comparison between methods for planar recovery which utilize either of the two. We first devise and implement a baseline method for recovering planar geometry which utilizes only proprietary distance estimates calculated on board the sensor. The basic idea of this method is to project outwards from the sensor by the detected distance, giving us a set of nine points to which we fit a plane. Our first method includes two simple improvements to this baseline. First, we extract distances ourselves by finding the temporal location of the peak in the transient histograms, rather than relying on proprietary distance estimates which we found to be less reliable. Second, we introduce some additional parameters to the point projection step, which we tune on a large ground truth data set to yield maximum accuracy of the recovered plane. At the core of our second method is a differentiable rendering pipeline. This pipeline implements a render function which takes as input scene geometry, which is simply the three degrees of freedom of the planar surface, surface reflectance parameters, which describe the specularity and albedo of the plane, and sensor intrinsics, such as the field of view specification and the number of bins in each transient histogram. The output of this function is an array of 3x3 three three transient histograms, which we expect to be captured by the sensor given the inputs. To recover scene geometry and albedo from a set of histograms, we optimize the scene geometry and surface reflectance parameters to minimize the reconstruction loss between the rendered and observed histograms. Because the render function is fully differentiable, this optimization is easy to perform with stochastic gradient descent. To evaluate the performance of each method, we use a robot arm to gather a large data set of sensor readings of eight different surfaces from a variety of distances and angles of incidence. We find that, on this data set, the methods which utilize transient histograms directly outperform those which utilize only proprietary distance estimates. We also find that our techniques are more robust to changes in surface than those which use proprietary distance estimates. We use differentiable rendering to recover surface albedo and find that recovered albedo is consistent regardless of the angle of instance or distance to the surface enabling differentiation between three surfaces using a single sensor measurement. As an example application for our methods, we create a demonstration in which a TMF8820 sensor is mounted in a downwards facing position on the gripper end effector of a robot arm. The sensor communicates with an Arduino microcontroller, which forwards its measurements to a connected computer. Here we show the robot arm positioned over a table, with the sensor pointing downwards. On the left is a live visualization of the planar geometry recovered by our method. On the right, we see the slope of the plane relative to the sensor and the distance to the plane along the sensor's optical axis. If the measured slope is below 5 degrees, it is shown highlighted in green. Otherwise, it is highlighted in red. 
On the left is a 3D visualization of the planar surface in the reference frame of the sensor. As the slope and distance to the surface under the robot change, that change is reflected in the visualization. Using the planar geometry recovered by our method, the robot is able to safely place a cup of liquid on the tabletop. In addition to sensing the distance to the surface below, the sensor is able to recover the slope of the surface and only place the cup if the surface is sufficiently level. If the surface is not level, the robot can cancel its action and attempt to place the cup in a new position. This demonstration showcases how our method enables granular robot sensing at close range and in a small form factor. Next steps include extending our differentiable rendering method to recover arbitrary geometry, and building full robot systems which utilize transient histograms to enable distributed and fine-grained sensing.